portfolio here dates from 1750 and it belonged to a man called John Glasgow. If you look at the top, you can see the metallic symbol with the skull and bones. Above that you can see a Latin inscription, Mor Certa Vita Brevis. It means death, death is certain and life is short. This stone is what they call a, nu a nuptial stone. It marked it at a marriage. 200 years ago, John Fletcher was quite a guy in the town. He was a town doctor, he was a, a counsellor. However, there was more to John. In 1826, uh, the town council suspected that newly interred bodies were going to be removed from, from graves. So, so they knew then that there was a, a body snatching group in the town, or in Irvine, they called them resurrections. Edgar Allan Poe would have come in here and recorded epitaphs. And there's little doubt that he'd have come across this one, a two-year-old boy. It's Judgment Day. These are wee angels, you can see them sounding a trumpet, heralding the Judgment Day. And this figure here is John, supposed to be John. And you can see how he's rising. This is him being raised to death at the last day. You've got this time, you've got the metallic skull here, and the bones flanking the stone. But if you look at this area and work out what, what this is, you can work out quickly what James did for a living. Is that a barrel? That's a barrel. It's a cooper. This stone here dates from 1770. It's a man called Robert Allen. As you can see, at the bottom of the, the stone, you have a ship. But this time, unlike Robert Montgomery's, you kind of go to sales, and you know he was a shipmaster. So, this Robert Allen had a relative called John Allen. And this was the same John Allen that I mentioned previously. He brought Edgar Allan Poe to Irvine. Ancestor of a very famous man, any, any ideas? The Prime Minister. Harold Macmillan, who was preserved the Prime Minister in the late 50s, early 60s. This stone here, you can see it's a, a relatively new stone. It's saying here, the Glasgow Herald. Here lies founder John Menens, died in 1818. Now, these two obelisks here, Mark two sea tragedies. So basically, you've got two, two seven, sorry, two mass graves here. Probably the most well known memorial in the churchyard. It says at the top here, stock passenger, thou treadest near two martyrs, James Blackwood and John McCool. Who, they were executed here in the last day of 1666. Normally when you see an open book on a gravestone, it's a, an occupation. Any ideas who would? A minister. It's a Bible, it's open Bible. And that's what we have here. Open Bible. And it's a, a date from 1804. And it's the Reverend James Richmond. And he was the first minister of the new church that was built. 